extremely well-known top golfer, John Daly, has just dropped a massive amount of golf wisdom. And when I first heard it, I was like, this is too good to be true, like far too good to be true. But then I've applied it myself, I've applied it to my students, and in terms of being able to strike and repeat where you bring the club back to the ball every time, I've gone up a level, and a handicapped golfer who was up about 18 went up a level, 15 handicapped went up a level, you get my point, you've got to try this. Now we're covering iron strike and driver strike because we had so many questions from all of you and I am powered by you, the viewers. Okay, so the first piece of golf wisdom, there's four little mini steps we've got to integrate into like, I would say, every single shot that you hit if you're really struggling with strike, which I know a lot of us are. The first thing, and this is a bugbear of mine, something that I've actually done for a while myself, is where we're gripping. This is my biggest bugbear. When I see students have their little pinky right at the top. Now, I get it, right? You make the shaft a little longer, the idea is you can actually swing it quicker. And especially when you're in driver, you're making it even longer again. But, I always say this, we want to forget about the currency of club head speed, we want to be in the idea of ball speed. So what I'm suggesting right now to follow John Daly's bit of wisdom here is we've got to grip where we have, let's say, around about an inch to two inches at the bottom here. Now look where I am in relation to the grip end, to the shaft end. I'm sort of three quarters of the way down here than all the way up. Now you might be thinking, well, Alex, you're really shortening the club. I 100% am, I agree. But I know, watch this, right? I know I'm way more likely to find that middle. Like that, that was just felt so well struck. So the first tip of four is let's grip down with irons, with drive, with your fairy woods, every single club. Let's get somewhere there. So the second part of this golf wisdom, he was then talking about the idea of, imagine you've got your favorite club in your hand at all times. Now, I'm gonna do this with my seven iron, then I'm gonna do the same thing with driver because you've got to do this for me. So what he was saying is when you've got your favorite club and you're gripping down, it sort of feels easy to hit, doesn't it? We've got confidence. And when we got our favorite club in our hand, our rhythm's better, our swing's better, our control is better, we're more likely to find the middle. So the second piece of simple advice, and I would always say these things sound too good to be true, but honestly, they really do work. On the golf course, I want you to now picture, whilst you're gripping down, that you've got your favorite club in your hand. Now, the third piece of advice that was attached to the second was he said he felt like he was just chipping the golf ball away almost just like he was here, like chipping that gold ball away. I mean, look how well struck that was. The idea is your swing becomes a little bit shorter, becomes a little bit more compact. And it all comes back to that idea of, if it goes a little bit long, we lift, we change our tilts, we move, the likelihood is it's gonna be a little bit of guesswork down the bottom. So if we can turn a little shorter, have that psyche of this is our favorite club and come through with a slightly shorter handle, we're more likely to find the middle and actually produce a faster ball speed. Let me just show you this and prove it. So look, I literally just chipped that one away. But a 142 carry, 153 finish, 104 ball speed, like these aren't ridiculous numbers. These are like what most people would, would say is good. And that is what I wanna get to you here. We are gonna help you by following this advice, hit it more out the middle. So we've now learned we've got to grip down, we've got to have the idea of it's our favorite club, and we're almost thinking about that sort of chip swing. That three quarter chip swing has to become that stock and the idea of how you swing the golf club. I'm telling you right now, it really does work. Right, let me hit a few with driver. So look, I'm gripping down, closer towards this bottom area than at the top. Control, more likely to find the middle, more likely to get faster ball speed. So we've learned to grip down. We've learned to feel and picture that favorite club with that sort of chip-like swing. 
This is really good advice. And you might be thinking, Alex, I'm not sure about this with driver. So what I want you to understand here with driver is, we're far better feeling this coiled action, letting the club drop and move through, than that long and sort of over the top motion. Because look at this here. If we look at the club face, it has no grooves, number one. But also it's really flat, number two. So if we quit a glancing blow, the club sort of just skims across the ball. So a more efficient swing where we're finding the middle is always going to produce a higher ball speed. So watch me here. So the fourth piece and the final piece of advice here, when you've got driver, I want you to feel you've got half a second, he was saying here, pause. So it's that action, that action. Now, I really love this idea. I, I can't believe how, I would say, consistent I have become out on the golf course, especially when I'm feeling like bad about my game, which we know we all have those areas. Just watch this again. I feel like I've got half a second pause, but in reality, you won't be seeing anything. You've got to be thinking that. I mean, look at that. Poker straight, and this is easily carrying 230. 240 carry. Come on, look at these figures here. This is what I'm saying. If you can get like this and find that middle, rather than swinging it five miles an hour quicker and getting it scattered, not worth it. Okay, look, 239 carry, 258 total, 143 ball speed, 26 spin, launch around 14. I mean, these are the ideas where you're going, okay, well, I'm swinging slower, I'm getting more out of it, I'm feeling under more control, and that's how you're going to lower your scores. So the idea of today's video is to drop the four pieces of wisdom from top golfer, I mean, open champion, John Daly. And you might be thinking, well, this is a guy who hits it a long way. Exactly, he knew it was about ball speed, not just necessarily club head speed. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for free Simple Golf Tips.